outfit to maximize hide gathering. If I get some some keratin, some Nancy keratin. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to the second video in the series of Ark Survival How To. Today, we're going to uh, show you guys how to do, how to get your first flyer. Uh, if you are solo playing at level 35, you will get the Pterodon Saddle um, Engram. And, uh, why, hello there. How are you doing today? Uh, you'll get the uh, Pterodon. Check it on the, check it on our. Dinos, make sure they're still okay. Uh, Pterodon, Saddle, Ingram. Yeah, there's some bags on the ground. Poofy. And uh, with that... Let's check our... Just a raptor. With that, we will um, go actually find us a uh, Pterodon. We have a primitive crossbow. A nice lock up there. A primitive crossbow and tranquilizer arrows. And let's see... That's what we got here. Spyglass is something you should make as soon as possible or get a hold of. Again, level 35 is the first where you get the saddle at, but if you're on a multiplayer server with friends who can make it for you, that's, that's a win-win. Let's see what we got over here. Where is it at? Okay, up there. And uh, that one looks a little better, and it's actually over the beach. And you do not want to... Well, I prefer not to knock one out over the water. It makes it harder to find, and it's it's easier to stop land uh, thingies, <laughs> uh, dinos and whatnot, from eating your uh, tame than in the water, in my opinion. I just like managing it better on land. How about that? Okay, this is actually not that bad of an area. It should be a, a nice-sized beach area and clear so I can see what's going on. Let's verify what we've got going up here. There's another one. Okay, you just saw that pterodon flying kind of crazy. That means there's something going on over there. Uh, they run when anything is hostile. Don't see anything hanging out right now. Um, you know, before we try, try and start a tame, I guess uh, let's go ahead and check out what's over there. We'll swing around this side and come back up. There we go. Been around. I see something in the wall. Yeah, we got compies. That's what it was, I think. Nice. Uh, there we go. Okay, okay, we're good. Nice. Um, definitely trying to clear out the area somewhat before starting. It was good, too. Uh, we need uh, meat. Pterodons are carnivores, though they don't ever look like they're actively hunting for it in the game. Let's get Omniraptor. Down! Get out of here! Go away! Alright, that scared him off. Let's get on back. Get him back to the beach. Go ahead and get this, this Tizame. What's that one? Check you out. 16. Well. What's that on the, what's that on the beach? Got one right there. Might as well take her out. One shot. <laughs> okay, one shot that was level one. And that scared the other guy away. Okay. Let's see if we can get them up here. Yeah, maybe I should just kill it and take its meat. I don't know. Oh, wow. That looks kind of like a zebra. That's pretty neat. Uh, maybe it's worth a tame. Um, I don't know. Let's move in a little bit here. We got some meat on us. Yeah, um, well, might, I mean, might as well, it was a level one. Yeah, let's see what we got. I, you can see that its torpor is kind of lowering semi-fast. It just got knocked out. It's, whoa. Oh, well, well, it looks like, um, yeah, it made a decision for us. Man, that beast is fast. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, give me that meats. Well, we will not be taming that one. It was decided for us. Oh, there's there's one over there. That's probably the one that's far away. Let's check down here. 
See if there's anything else that might bring some surprises. Megalodon in the water and some lovely trollo bites. Wow. Takes forever to talk about some armor on these things, huh? Oh, there's a Koel. Koel. One. Two. Ha ha! Give us your meats. Okay, nice. Let's see. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we're good. Guess we can, we can go check on that one. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, ten's better than zero. And all right, we're gonna run back again. Uh, you saw that level one headshots if you can. Uh, the better the you know, it makes it a shorter process, especially with how fast they run. Well, <laughs> he knew he knew what was up, right? Here we go. And there we go. And one thing with the higher level ones, when you shoot them, if you have a means to track them, don't give up. There's a good chance that they'll fly a little bit. As the torpor rises, they'll get knocked out. No telling. We got here. Four. Uh, we don't need a four. All right. Well, we've already got some meat on us, so we'll go ahead and check them out. Or out. Let's see what we've got. Now, one of the good thing about uh, carnivores, let's say you did something that hurt them pretty bad, you can actually force feed them meat, like I just did, and heal them up. It will fill up their food gauge some, but if you're worried about uh, survivability of it, like let's say you got a Quetzal down, it doesn't matter. It's your first Quetzal. It doesn't matter what it, well, it does. But if it doesn't get taming efficiency or not, you just want to survive any sort of hits. You definitely want to do that. But um, let's see what we got. Oh, they already landed. Well, we might as well knock it out and take its mate. Uh, I usually can lead it and you're okay. Let's try again. And I didn't lead it and still didn't hit it. Uh, hopefully I can hit it here. Okay, that works. Nice. Okay, now we'll go meat mode. Okay, cool. All right, one nice thing about this uh, knockout, it's right on the very edge of the beach. So that's nice. Uh, good, clean area to watch your, watch your tames. Uh, let's see what we've got going on. The food. Every time, every 50 food down the max, it will want to eat. Once you start your taming process, as you can see there, you do not want to ever let it run out of meat or it will lose taming efficiency. Now, it's not going to show taming efficiency now until it, it takes its first bite. And let's see if we get lucky enough to see that here soon. Uh, where's it at? Uh, maybe. What we got? No, it's going to be second. We're giving it actually a little bit of torpor nation. Now, whenever you feed it narcotics, it will not give it food back, so you're safe there if you're worried about that. Let's see. Well, one thing with taming efficiency, though, is it starts off at 100%, and if it's at 100% taming uh, efficiency, you'll get a very large bonus to its levels. Over time, every time it eats, it has a chance to lose um, that. Uh, a small percentage every time. All right, I just learned the uh, the wood foundations there. What we're gonna do is the usual. Hold on, it's about now. I still got another another ten to go. Uh, we just learned the wood foundations. What I do solo is I get a fence up around this tame as quick as possible. Uh, it, being on the beach, it's a lot more safe. And some if you actually knock them out, like in the middle of forest, you got wood right there, so. It, it's a give and take. I'd rather have this beach and have to run off and get stuff and come back. Uh, I have enough time to intercept. All right, we're about to get our first bite on here in a second. So we got. There we go. See how the uh, taming effectiveness just uh, came up there, efficiency. Um, and let's see what we got. Or we're going to go ahead and. Um, you know, I've got a good amount of narcotics. It gives you 40 torpor, or them 40 torpor. We're going to run over here now and go ahead and grab some uh, fiber, uh, thatch, and wood. And start making foundations and walls. If I had a sickle, or I remember to bring a sickle, we could have uh, done this a lot quicker. Fiber-wise. Grab a good chunk of that. Get two fiber. We should be good. We'll go ahead and get some wood coming. Get some thatch now. Nice. Nice. Defense foundations. 
One good thing about uh, crafting too is once you've got one on your hot bar, you can hold alt and press that hot bar key and it will automatically craft another one if you have enough materials in your inventory. That's on the hot bar. And there we go. We're going up there, I just hold alt and then use the hot bar and pushes it up. And the thing is, if you're still crafting and you're in the middle of gathering supplies to make it, when it turns white, you know you can knock out a couple more. Nothing major, but kind of cool. Let's see if we get it right here. See how it turned white also when I got enough wood? That's that's your little signifier. Probably going to get several of these made. I say probably. We will get several of these made. Oh, we got to get the wall. Okay. Moving a little slower since I'm middle crafting. Be somewhat aware of your surroundings, especially like it, usually when you knock something out, it's not all nice and right next to you. You've got to uh, keep your eye out. Don't want to get a you know a nice surprise. Actually, wouldn't consider it nice, but you know what I mean. Okay, watching my uh, weight here. We we'll do the same thing with the walls. Nice leveling. One thing you gotta be aware of too is the torpor of your team. Make sure you. Oh, I'm a little too heavy for him, aren't I? Lay, it, lay on him, and then uh, one thing you gotta be aware of is torpor on your team. And don't go too far. Be aware how long you've been gone. It would suck to be almost done with the team and then it, it, it wakes up. And that is what happens when torpor hits zero. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we 132 torpor. We put 40 on, or well, one they get 40. Gonna eat my little berries. There, my inventory. Okay, nice. It's moving along. Let him fall on. Okay, now the thing with the fence is, these uh, all of them have kind of a hitbox, and I found the hard way that the uh, hitbox is a little bigger than what you might assume. So I've tried to give them enough space. These uh, fence foundations, if you've never worked with them before, will allow you to just place walls. Period. Uh, you don't have to do all the fancy. Very expensive, regular foundations. These are finicky. But, you know, that's part of the fun. I'm going to lay out these. I'm just going to be short, it looks like. That's far enough-ish. The big thing I, I like to do is make sure they, they actually snap together. That way the wall facing will stay consistent. Go, okay. And that's all we got on that. Let's go and throw a couple of walls. Make sure that it is good. I just like, you know, to have the interior look like the interior. Let's see what else? Make sure it gets it. I'll go ahead and pop another one. Just to have it maxed out before I leave, I'm going to load it down with the stuff I don't need to carry. I know I'll be back in time if I need to get this stuff off of them. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Shouldn't be too long. Going to go get some more wood. Get some more walls up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll come back here in just a second. Uh, and we'll go ahead and start working on getting the saddle together. So you guys hold on. We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back guys. We're finishing up the wall now of protection. Plus one. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up. I should demolish it and put it over. Go straight with it. And what we got here, it's only one level high. If I was in the middle of like a high density area with a more larger type of beast, 
three high is the safe amount. Also, there'd be, well, be more resources in most cases, unless it's on a mountain. Uh, then that time, I would already be semi-prepared with uh, stuff to get, you know, a wall up and ready to roll. But we're complete here. Let's check on you. Nice. Um, good on that. We're good on there. Yeah, that has the better timer. I don't care. 15 seconds, whatever. Go ahead and pump you up a little bit there. Okay, uh, Tammy Fitness still looks good. Um, so how you were looking here. Hey, how you doing? All right. Your weight's all right. I mean, I really don't. I'll go ahead and eat these. I'm just trying to lighten up before we go ahead and start getting the mats for the saddle together. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's check. We can throw these on him. Whatever. I don't need to really carry that around. We're good on that. Well, let's see. Let's go find out what we need for this saddle. As you can see, at level 35, you get it. It is not needing a smithy to make, so you don't have to worry about that. You can make it on the go. So we've got here now. We're looking at 230 hide, 125 uh, fiber, and 75 chitin. So that's, you know, the hardest part might be the chitin. But luckily, we're on the shore. I've already seen some of these, and they yield them uh, chitin just as well. What I'm talking about is uh, trilobites. They're the little crab, cool-looking things. I usually prefer to use a spear on them than a, than a dino, just so I can direct them a little bit easier. They like to go back towards the water. These will yield not only chitin and meat, but they also you can get a small amount of oil and silica pearls, which is great at low levels when you when you can't take anything or handle the areas that have it. It's right there, bam! Already, already. Let's see what we get. See, there you go. There you go. We're, we're right there. 18 chitin. Now I do have the resources at double. Just trying to get it to where we get to move along, but all the principles are the same. Go ahead and get this guy up here. Nice. Very nice. Very smooth. Run, buddy. Let's go. Get under here. Let's see what I can see up from top. Yeah, there's some over there. Yeah. Oh, there's one, one on the beach. Easy enough. Simple enough. All right, we'll go ahead and knock out these bad boys. Let's see, we're almost there, actually, already. One one more. One more. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Okay, well. <laughs> there is a plenty of resources on this one. That is hilarious. All right. Bam! That's not a lot of chitin on that one. Let's see who, who, well. Get over here. There we go. There we go. Gonna kill one of y'all. Decide. You? You dead? You're gonna be the one that goes away. Level 20. Nice. Alright, cool. We're good on the chitin. So let's move into the hide. Oh, I pooped. Poopy stinky. Stinky poopy. Let's move into the hide. Which is simple enough. Trike. Oh, there we go. Start working on it. What I'll do though, instead of using my dino to harvest it, I'll make sure to use the hatchet to maximize hide gathering. If I get some some keratin, some Nancy keratin. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <Well. Okay. laughs> his foot. Hit his foot. There we go. 45 hide. That's that's nice. Out of 250. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Don't need that. So we'll keep this stuff. Okay. Cool. I'm trying to keep it nice and light. Let's see what else we got around here. Uh, trikes are a nice find. Yeah, wow, that's that's not buggy. Let's help you out here. Oh, knock back. There we go. There we go. Glad we could help you out of your your whatever. All right. A few more hits. More hits. Nice, 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 nice. Moving right along. Okay, forty hide. Nice. That's ninety-five. No, no. Durr. Okay, it was one thing too, what I was doing there is um good thing about having carnivores as your mounts or whatnot is you can force feed them raw meat and they will heal. Or meat in general and they will heal a small amount. Which comes in really handy dandy. 
simple enough. Whoa, poopy. We're gonna go back and check on our team. Make sure, again, stay aware of what's going on. Don't get in happy kill lust fun time mode and then forget and then come back and then see your stuff flying off. Actually, if they wake up when the Torpor gets zero, if they wake up, anything you have on them is gone. Period. Nice little jumpy. Wait, I gotta get out. How am I gonna get out? Never mind. Let's check. Alright, Torpor is at 99. Gonna jack him up a couple times. Cool. Should we time? Let's, we'll just put this stuff on here I, that, I, that I don't need actively for the saddle. Um, nope. I don't think it's going to happen. Good. Let's, let's try and build a ramp. Let's build a ramp. <laughs> Have it inside, one out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it up or not because it's not a standard foundation, but we'll see. What I need to know for the ramp. I need the wooden ceiling. So for this... Wooden ceiling, we need to know the thatch roof, to know the thatch roof. We just need to click it. Okay. Ceiling. Uh, there we go. And the ramp. And wait, wait, there we go. Alright, now we have it learned. So we can knock it out without having to go look for supplies. Drag and drop. Gotta throw the rest of this back on them. And no. <laughs> eh, figures. Whatever. We'll just knock down a wall then. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just knock down a wall. Uh, doing a hey, we're doing okay enough. Let's just Let's go ahead and jack it up another one, put another five on there, and then just knock down this wall. Hopefully he'll be able to fit through one. Oh yeah, we're good. Nice. Yeah, we don't have enough to build the one other wall. But we'll go ahead and get the wall and see if there's anything else to kill around here. For some hides. Alright. Should be um, no. We need what we need. Where we at? Where we at? Right there. Need thatch and fiber. Okay, that's not bad. Good amount of fiber. There we go. Hit the thatch. Nice. Very nice. Go ahead and just clear out all this crap. I don't need. All right, we'll head on back. Head on back. There's a trike over there. We'll head up the trike too. Get some more hides. Uh, <laughs> really? Got happy. Got a happy poopy. Alright, let's get off here. Just got, we don't really need that or that, so, and we'll take that. Cool. And, and then, there we go. Yeah, let's clear that out. We don't need that anyway. Cool. Uh, just so you know, this is on single player mode. Uh, I have not, well, I've added two add-ons, which are, don't do anything to the game. One adds, like, some sofas and chairs, love seats, and the other one is uh, a graveyards, uh, different gravestones. Otherwise, we're, you know, general, we're pretty much on a no mod. I have increased the resources. Oh, there we go. I doubled it. Uh, I haven't touched much else. I think I doubled the, I could sped up the, the tame times. And uh, a little bit more XP just so I can, you know, get through a video quicker for you guys. Uh, principles are the same. But I don't have, like, any, like, special stuff going on here. Any builds you see are vanilla builds. Nice. Getting there. Getting there. Couple more kills. Wait. Let's see. We got... Give you the mates. Dancing. Go find us some more. Another run. Kill it. It's quicker for me to actually kill it with a pike than it is to uh, wait for uh, my raptor to go for it. Back up here. Nice amount of oil. Right, let's move into the, the jungle denseness. See what we can locate. And be careful when fighting around Brontos. Those tails like to get hit and then they get all mad. Let's see what we got. 
Oh, there we go. My Fiomia. Nice. Makes it a lot easier. Episode. Come back here. There we go. Bunch of meat. Oh, looks so like we got a compi. We get my hides. Nice amount of hide. Wow. And we'll go ahead. Yeah. The hatchet. What was that? What was that? Okay. Got it, I guess. Where are we at? Um, yeah, we're, we're good on hide now, so let's see how what else we need. We need to get the fiber. Okay. Easy enough. Easy peasy, guys. Is that a pterodon stuck on the wall? Hey, let's, let's, let's. Pterodon, meet raptor. Raptor, pterodon. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Is it bugged? Yeah, there's blood on it. Wow, it takes that long, huh? <laughs> wow. And <laughs> yeah, that's balanced. And the pterodon is about as strong as a damn trike. All right, let's go ahead and start grabbing some some fiber, fibre, fibora. Decent amount. Again, if I had the sickle on me, we'd already be done. We'd have, like, fiber at our ears. Muda Moose will be calling us to supply them. Dang. I do hear a, a, a dillo in the background. Alright, let's grab. Be nearing uh, what we need. 19, 5, 23, 27, 30. I think we should be pretty much there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Cool. Let's uh, get over to our... I love how even on single player, like the autosave. Seriously. Okay, let's uh, look at this. Clear him out. It's weighting him down. Don't need that. We need that. Um, yeah, this, this should be good enough. Yeah, a little bit of speed increase there. Uh, as they get weighed down, they slow down just like us. Um, anyway, let's get back to the tame. Check on that. Go ahead and knock out this saddle. Saddle off. Should we time? All right. Uh, good. We're getting there. Maybe three more bites. Four at the most. Cool. We're looking good. Feeling great. All right. Let's see. Looking pretty good there. Now, um, the taming effectiveness is 82.8%. Uh, We're getting plus four levels if it were to tame right now. Uh, it may get down to where it's plus three levels. I'm, I'm guessing that it won't. I think we're going to get a, a 14 out of this. We'll see. The saddle made. Happy saddle goodness. I'm trying to see if he's going to... She... going to chew on some... Yeah. Uh, Nice. Decent colors. Uh, to me, it's like standard issue. All these shells and rocks. Uh, standard issue. Come on. Ooh, I want to see E one time so we can make a, make a decision. Yeah. Going to be like that? Going to be like that? Really? Fine. We got a trike over there. Let's get rid of that. Anything we can to lighten it up the load. And, and we're okay-ish. That saddle definitely has some weight to it. Level 2 male. What do we got on this? Trike level 20. That might be worth a tame later. It might be later. I don't know. I guess I don't... What am I going to do, you know? Yeah. Eh. Whatever. We got this tame almost done here. Come on. Give me some of that over there. Yeah, you the... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa with the poopy. I lighten that up as much as we can off of me. You know, everything else in here looks pretty sharp. I can restack that. Yeah. Nice. Definitely, yeah. Let's see how we are here. Anytime you want to... Oh, it's about to, about to chew now. Chew on this. 
And... And... There we go. Wow. Might only be one more bite. Yeah, it looks like it'll be one more bite. Very nice. So, we got there. The weight looks pretty decent for the level. Uh, go ahead and put some of the... Narcotics on it. Where the heck is the door? Knock, knock. Who's there? I can't find you. Um... No, it, <laughs> the torch was okay. So, probably it's very little time until we get our tame here. Looks like everything's doing healthy. Oh, we got a level. Let's see, wait. Uh, maybe not. Should not have done that. I should be actually be putting stamina, movement speed, and damage, I think, on this. The weight is so minimal. Maybe on a higher level one. I'd like to have about 200, so let's just go ahead and... Um... um yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, get his me too. Just because we can. Oh, get around, get around. Get low on stamina. Um, you know, get dismount in combat, pull up the pike, hit it some while its stamina comes back. Go. Yeah. Wait. Okay, we got it. Oops. Okay, there we go. Get on you. All right. Stamina's full. I forgot, you can't whistle and make it, uh, what you're sitting on, change its stance, if you will. Scratch it up. Scratch it in. Let me begin. Alright. We're almost at that point. The moment of truth. Knock, knock. And... It's almost there. Uh, 15 more foods. That off there, just kind of clear out the extra junk. Don't need that. Okay. Chew it. Eat it. Good for you. Loving me. You now you hear people talk about slamming prime down. If you've seen any of my other videos, you I know you know that I like to put prime on. When you're at the very beginning of this game, it's all progressive. You have to build your foundation before you can go and get better and better things. This being your first flyer is it's just important to get one. You can worry about all that later. Just get one and have it available. It changes your game for you completely. Here we go. I'm gonna cast your cares away. Yeah. Ruggle. Ruggle schmaggle. All right, so let's get this on you. Looking good. Nice. Cool. Um, let's see, we can probably... Uh, I just put this, the valuables. I don't know. I'm just going to toss this other stuff. I really don't need it. And what we're going to do is have him follow Mr. Raptor, and then we'll get on Pterodon. Whenever you have multiple dinos in doing a train or follow, you want to have your fastest one in the front, or the fast ones will run all over you, get you stuck, and just make you hate life in general. All right. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Now, there are several controls once you get your pterodon. Uh, simple ones. Uh, landing is spacebar. If it doesn't happen the first time, tap it again. You no know, let go, pushing forward. Uh, of course, forward goes forward. Simple enough. Now you can do C and do a barrel roll, Fox, and do a barrel roll. It, it just it does a good amount of damage, but it, it burns up stamina and let's see what killing burns up stamina and it kills. Um, it can get you stuck. Like if you're hit, trying to use it up against like a Rex or something bigger, you can get stuck underneath it and then it dies and you lose it. Uh, I know this from experience. So taking our time. Oh, there's a let's get a little bit of a kill in. See, there you go. See, that spin it to maneuver. Go. Cool. Easy enough, easy enough. Wow. The spitter actually slows it down pretty bad now. Okay, we're going to move towards the light. Cool. So that was a pretty cut and dry on how to accomplish that. Uh, the principles are the same for me at uh, larger... Uh, higher difficulties, more dangerous areas. I would prefer stone and, you know, actually never thatch. Wood can hold up to something so you have enough time to kill it. Stone, if you, if you have, if you have the readily available resources. Oh, the poopy. Let's see if we can see. We can't really do. Alright. 
let him up here. He's good to go. Cool. All right. Um, so we got. We're looking good. He's got a good health ish for what it is. Stamina's kind of low. Um, weights, melee damage, and movement speed. Usually, I, the big, two biggest thing is stamina and movement speed. Weight, uh, usually 200 ish is good. Health. It all depends on what you want to do. You can do different kinds of builds with your dinos. Uh, definitely stamina and movement on this one. I may do, like I said, a little bit of weight. Those two things uh, will let me have more mobility. May end up throwing some health into it too, just to have, give us some survivability. But we'll we'll see how it goes, and then we'll go, you know, kind of play it by ear. Um, it is it is kind of dark out, so we'll get this thing cleared out here. It is dark out, so we'll hold off. We'll hold off and wait until light, and we'll show you some good stuff there. Um, we'll be right back. The lovely morning has risen as we look across the sea. All right, time to do some killing. Do a couple things on um, Pterodon. A little K action there. Looking good, looking great, feeling good, feeling great. Um... There we go. There's a little bit of C action for you. Uh, one thing to always be aware of when you're on your flyer is your stamina. Stamina, stamina. One, the first, one of the first things that you get real easy access to are beacons. Once you get your first flyer, it really makes it a lot easier. It's so important to scope out your area. You can go ahead and land, wait three seconds to five seconds, see if anything comes at you. If not, you can generally assume it's safe. If so, you can definitely fly off. Uh, when you do regen stamina, you do not have to get off of it. Just as long as it's on the ground, you're okay. These tend to regain stamina pretty quickly. And we're going to go ahead and um, come back. We'll go ahead and head out and then come back whenever we find something to kill. And we'll share some happy fun time adventures with you. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I think we see something. Yeah, we see a parasaur down here. Oh, there's some, some dinos, dinos going after us. We're going to hit this up. All right. One thing to be careful when you're fighting around water, you don't want to actually touch the water with your flyer. It will dismount you automatically. We have a little spinning. Knockback's pretty crazy now. Let's get out of the way. Get back a little bit of stamina while we're waiting for him to swim here. Nice. You know you want to die. Be very careful there. There we go. Don't want to get dismounted. Nice. Okay. Pretty simple. Simple stuff. So generally, I mean, that's the whole process there. You know, throw in some common sense when something might negative may happen. Just react accordingly. Remember your stamina, you know. And then during the taming process, a wall goes a long way. Yeah, so... Oh, what's that? Oh, we're going to try one of these. We we're fast enough. Yeah, we're... Whoa, we're fast enough to catch up. Yep. Nope. Nice. Fun way to level. You cannibal, you. That's a bad cannibal. Anyway, what? Uh, I'm look, looking at me. <laughs> I'm almost leveled. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put it in stamina now. I'll probably pump that up, like I said, up to about a thousand, then worry about movement speed. So, appreciate you guys checking out the video. Um, if you learned something here or liked it, please slam that like button. Uh, I'll be put up, I will be putting out more of these videos, so go ahead and subscribe to be part of this awesomeness. And, um,. Thank you for hanging out. You guys have a good night.